Hi guys, um, just a short video um, about Project Drake, which nobody remembers that I used to make because I haven't worked on it in forever. Um, I was actually talking to Andres, link in the description, um, about Project Drake today and he was interested so I'm making a little video to show how far I'd gotten with it. So, people who knew the old game um, knew that there was this little night sprite and there was trees and you could build a bit and that was about it. Terrain is still the same, but all that stuff's been um, taken out. Um, I'm just going to start with the gameplay and not be too rambly. I'll be rambly afterwards, so you can skip that if you don't like it. So as you can see, um, there's an animated new sprite that I made myself. Uh, so yeah, I made the sprite. And can fight. And you can tell that if you listen carefully, the footsteps actually, you know, um, sound at the proper time. It's a basic three hit combo, so it's not super interesting, but, you know. There's also a run, walk, toggle. Actually, the engine does, like, fluid movement, um, more than eight directions, as you can see when I'm, like, kind of going weirdly diagonal. It actually... Uh, properly scales up the animation depending on the speed which can be variable but because I don't have controller support you can't actually see that. So yeah that's that's a thing. So over here we've got a dummy. It's like an enemy except you know it doesn't have any AI. Uh, you can hit the enemy. And like So yeah, it has a basic three hit combo combat system. He can't die yet because reasons. Um, the attacks have a reach and stuff too, so that's cool. And you know, it actually moves the player when you're attacking to match the animation so you won't clip through walls during this even though there are no walls in the game right now. I had to take those out. So yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing. Um, so that's basically the gameplay features, which is probably not that interesting because there's less features now than there were before. But I, I did a lot of internal rearranging, so there's, there's this, there's the console. I mean, you can see this uh, actually doesn't all fit on my screen. That's useful. So there's a bunch of um, commands that you can use. You can get help for the help. I know, I'm, I'm snarky to myself because I'm, I'm just like that way. Um, so this is running on an internal server. So the, the, like, the, there's not actually a server, but there's a background thread that, is, that does all the logic and the client doesn't really know if it's getting its information over the internet or, you know, from a background threat. So there is, like, a client server separation, which I put in so multiplayer would be easier. Um, yeah, so you can actually pull up the properties of the dummy. Let me close that. So, I mean, this just iterates over all the properties that something has. So it is... Um, Base speed, knockback. Yeah, you can actually set. Let's let's do that. Let's do set prop one, which is me. I think that's how it works. Knockback, and then set that to like two. So let's see what that does. So we just set my knockback to to two times what it is normally. So you can see he's getting out of range now. So it's actually not that useful, but you can do stuff like set prop one knock knock back ten, and then it gets really funny because that happens.
happens. <laughs> That's just so funny. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't like it. It amuses me greatly. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, what else have we got? So this is just an object. Is it moving? No. Action default. Can on load. Can on load false. Oh, it's this is me. Hang on. We want properties for two. Yeah. So you can see that guy is can on load. And he's not an anchor. I think those are actually uh, one of those you can't set. I think to can unload false. Yeah, see, it doesn't set that one because it's just um, a combination of if something is an anchor or not. It also has persists is through, so this guy will actually stay. It'll be stored in the database. Um, so let's, let's just show it out. Actually, I can actually do that different. So, toggle grid. So you can see by this purple line, that's in a different chunk. So if I go set loader chunk radius, is that 0 or 1? No, that's 0. Set loader chunk radius 0. Okay, so you, you saw him vanish because now this chunk, nothing around this chunk is loaded because the radius is 0 of loaded chunks. You can also do set loaded chunk radius 2 and then set visible chunk radius 0 and then you see because this chunk is still loaded you still see the entity but you just don't see the chunk itself. But we don't want that, we don't. Visible chunk radius, I don't know what it is, normally 5. Set loader chunk radius 0, so you see he disappears, but I am props 1. I'm an anchor, so that means that I force load the chunk that I'm in. Like, I'm important to keep loaded, so I keep the world loaded as well. So he can just move into a different chunk and he appears because he gets pulled out of a database and loaded back in. I'm not sure if you can hit him out of the chunk. Yeah, that doesn't work for him. It does work for me because I'm an anchor so I can force load chunks but he's not an anchor so he cannot do that. So if I leave he, he gets saved and removed and then I come back. But if I do like set load a chunk radius 1 and then set the visible chunk radius lots of typing 0 and I hit him and he just goes into the next chunk because this chunk is actually still loaded. So that's that's basically what we've got. It's very um, stable, there's just no gameplay features. Um, as for the, the animation, so what I've done is, this is a 3D model. Well, this isn't a 3D model, but it's based on a 3D model. And I have a sprite rendering um, utility, which basically renders this sprite as diffuse, um, normals, and height. It also lets me add events, so the footsteps or sound event. Um, Combat is also events. There's a wind up, um, a point where it actually resolves the hit, which does the sound and stuff. And then there's a cooldown, and then there's a window where you can actually um, keep going into the combo. Though if you miss it, it just stops. Um, it also checks the a root bone inside the utility, which I use in Blender to move the model along to define the movement, so that's why it can actually move the way it is, which is pretty complex, so I just did that in Blender, and it exports that to an XML file and reads that in, and, you know, it, it, it moves the model based on that. The same for the walking and the running, except that's, I just made that smooth. So yeah, that's um, the state of the game now. There's actual combat.
like combo combat instead of the old horrible, you know, just click spam combat. Which wasn't very good. I find it kind of amusing actually. Like, he's, because of the way um, it does the water, which is a full screen post processing effect, you can actually see that his feet are underwater because it's doing the water effect on them. So yeah, that was that was um, State of Project, right? I need to re-add a whole lot of stuff. Um, the good thing about the client-server separation that I did, even though it means I need to re-add a whole lot of um, features that I had before, is that by the time multiplayer exists, I can do proper lag compensation. So you can play with your friends from across the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean, and it'll be playable on like a lot of um, sandboxy games, which don't do lag compensation. So by the time you hit anything, they've already hit you, which is just not acceptable. Anyway, that's all, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.